One of the areas that we get um, a lot of questions and um, issues for um, on the Lighting Reality Help Desk is drawing loading. Um, and I'm going to draw, load a drawing and just show you the problem. So I've selected the file, select open, the drawing loads, um, I go to set area, and where's my drawing gone? Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open this in um, in AutoCAD so that you can um, you can see the um, the problem there. Um, so here's the same drawing, and what we would do is we would um, load the drawing and we could zoom to extents. And one of the things is is really obvious to start off with is that there's a line here that's been drawn um, adjacent to um, the car park area probably something to do with um, setting a local um, UCS or something like that so I'm just going to delete that zoom to extents I've got so another random object up here and this is very common we, we I often see drawings that have been poorly prepared and have got objects that are away from the area of interest so again I'm just going to delete that um, zoom in on the area and still we, we've got an awful lot of information going on here there's there's a, a topographical survey um, which is on a layer that's locked so I'm just going to unlock that and then explode that um, but there's lots and lots of information in areas that are um, um, of use in some cases and in other areas they're not so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this freeze option up here in the uh, in the top toolbar in the ribbon and I'm just going to zoom in on and click on various things and what that does is it allows you to click on objects that you see that are um, not really of interest to you and you can get rid of those and some of these levels are um, tops of hedges and, and properties and that type of thing which um, may at some point be of interest to me but, but for the main of it, it it isn't so I'm just going to get rid of turn all those layers so all those layers have been frozen um, and um, We've got the columns still shown, you can see their LP, um, so various stop valves and all kinds of other stuff going on. Um, that looks like it's going to be a new entrance into the site. Um, and there, get rid of all of that. Um, so on, that should be okay. Okay, the other thing I like to do as part of this process is to, um, I've done a select all. Uh, which you can do from uh, up here in the toolbar um, and then treat everything as color by layer um, and then um, change all my layer colors to a, to a more appropriate color um, and quite often I will um, set all the background information to say color 9 uh, which is sort of a light gray color and then areas that may be of interest for example here um, I would change those to a um, to a lighter colour, so a darker colour, so maybe 252. So let's change that to colour 252. So what we're starting to see is um, is areas that are um, of interest to us are on um, layers that we can um, and so on. Um, another area that we, we often experience issues with is this auto tracking information. Quite often it has blocks in it. It's blocks that uh, show the route of HGVs and um, bus lorries, uh, refuse lorries and that type of thing. Um, I like to get rid of those. Um, clearly any, any bits of un uh, unused um, information within the drawing we can get rid of um, and then what we do is we we purge the drawing until such a time as the drawing can't be purged anymore as you can see everything that we've has now gone I can't purge it anymore um, so that's my drawing I'm just going to do a um, save as um, save the drawing that's now saved go back to lighting reality select load DXF DWG um, select the new file. As you can see, it's just under three meg smaller, uh, which all helps when um, keeping our IT people happy. Um, so select the file, select open, go to set area, and that extends the extent of the calculation grid to the extent of the area. And we can then zoom in on the area of interest, um, and then proceed to do our lighting design. Um, thank you very much for listening. 
If you have any topics that you want me to cover, please send us an email to support at lightingreality.com or tweet me at nicksmith1246. Thank you very much.